Welcome back to another OnLab tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at how to save and load uh, snapshots within Contact from Native Instruments. Now, this is uh, by far the world's most popular uh, sampler. Um, you can get your hands on it uh, free of charge over at nativeinstruments.com. Uh, there is also a paid version. Um, but, you know, if you don't need a lot from it, Contact is uh, uh, the free one. The player is, is more than enough for most. Um, anyway, I digress. Uh, what we're looking at today here is basically saving presets within your contact instruments. Now, before the contact 5.4.1 um, update, uh, you could not actually save presets within an instrument. So you actually had to save an entire new instance of an instrument if you wanted to save those exact settings uh, to use in future product, projects. Um, so this is actually, it, although a very small feature update, uh, it, it has a big impact. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what we're talking about and how to do it. To save just a couple of seconds, I went ahead and I already loaded uh, an instance of Contact here. We're using Logic Pro. You do not need to. You can use Contact in standalone mode um, or in any other DAW. And um, let's just grab something from like maybe the factory stuff. We'll use select since I don't really use those too much. Um, and currently I'm in the band, it looks like, and we'll just use the top one, this classic bass. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so now we have our settings all dialed in. It's absolutely perfect the way that we like it. Uh, now we're just going to come up here, and this little uh, camera icon highlights when you hover over it. Go ahead and click on it one time, and it'll uh, change the load screen here. And uh, you'll notice that it says no snapshot loaded. So go ahead and uh, click on the disk right here, and that is intended to stand for save. And we'll just go ahead and click that and just enter in a name, and we'll just call this test1 and we'll save it. Now let's go ahead and continue on and make another one. So we'll play a note. Okay, so now we've got an even better version of our instrument. So we're gonna save this one too. And we're just going to, since we already have the snapshot window open here, we're just gonna click on the disc again. And let's just change the name here to two. So it saves a new preset for us. Okay, um, now you can also, once you have one loaded, uh, you can just click on this uh, trash icon to um, delete it. Now, you'll notice that there is this disclosure triangle here, um, kind of insinuating uh, that there are probably other options here. Now, if we click on this, you will see indeed that both of the presets that we've saved are here, or snapshots, rather. Um, and just to show you that that is uh, a real thing, I've also loaded another instance of contact here. So let's go ahead and navigate to that uh, um, same exact instrument. So load it up fresh, and we'll just say we'll jump right to the snapshots. Click on the camera, no snapshots loaded. Click here on the drop down menu button, and there they are, test one and two. So you load up the first one, just as good. And we'll load up the next. Two perfect sounds, exactly how we made them, recalled in an instant. Now, uh, there, there's a reason why you would want to do this rather than save a new instrument every time, and that is that this is basically just saving your parameter settings. So the file size is incredibly small, and as you saw, it's incredibly quick to load. Now, anyone that's used contact for a while knows that if you have a big instrument, um, it can take quite a while to load, and it can take up a lot of CPU. So anything you could do to slim down um, load times and CPU usage, that type of thing. Um, it's a win for everyone. So uh, now these, as I understand it, these are actually tied to the instrument that created them. So we're calling them snapshots rather than presets because um, if it's dependent upon the system and the instrument uh, that created it, you can't necessarily go sharing it with other people. Um, now, I believe if you have um, your same instance of contact loaded on a couple different machines of yours, um, that you can do that, but you're going to have to make sure that you move the, the document data files with it. So um, for those that need that type of support, you'll understand what I'm talking about. For those, just ignore that. 
It probably sounded kind of complicated, uh, but this is a very quick and easy way to just save settings so you can use them uh, again in the future. And remember that this goes pretty deep. This goes for all of the, the parameters that you can touch. Um, so uh, drum kits, okay, here's one. You spend a whole bunch of time dialing in all of your routing and outputs and everything. Why do that every time? Why not just save a snapshot and then the next time uh, you need to load up a kit you just open up your snapshot. If you need to tweak it a little bit, at least you're saving yourself all of the headache of recreating all of that stuff from scratch. So that's it, how to create a quick snapshot inside of Contact. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, let us know what you thought of it and what you want to see next in the comments below, and we will see you again next time. Thanks for coming out. Cheers.